In today's video, we're going to talk about building a link tree alternative on your WordPress site, specifically in the 2024 theme as an example. And why would you want to create an alternative to link tree? Well, maybe you are just a diehard WordPress fan and you want to have everything right in WordPress under your own domain, uh, tracked with your own analytics, using your own content with the flexibility of WordPress. Probably the reasons why pricing for a link tree isn't crazy. I can understand why people gravitate towards it because it's of its simplicity it's one core focus, uh, but it is definitely a much larger concept these days, Linktree that is. And if we want to build this out in WordPress, we'll go to Dashboard, Appearance, and Editor. The first thing we're going to do is create a blank canvas template. I've shown this in other videos before. 2024 doesn't ship with a blank canvas. Also depends on what your expectations are. You know, you could just have a page and call that your link tree with some buttons in it. We're going to create a template that removes uh, all of the stuff uh, around it. So let's go ahead and manage all templates, add a new template. I'm gonna click on custom template. We'll call this link tree. I should probably call it blank canvas because I'm not going to build the components uh, of our link tree into the template. We'll do that on its individual page. If you've never seen this stuff before, it'll make sense as we move through it. Let's open up the block list view. So it's important, number one, is I'm going to remove the header because we're not going to want that on our link tree page and the footer. Uh, but it is important that we leave the uh, content section here. Uh, the content section will inherit the styling of uh, our template, of course, of our 2024 theme, but also we're going to need a content section to put content in. So we don't want to remove that as well. So let's remove the group that has the title and the featured image of a post and get rid of that. So we now have a blank canvas, just the content uh, in the center, right? So we'll hit save. And save. Okay, now that we have the template created, what we're going to do is create a page. This will be for our link tree page. Let's get the choose pattern selector out of the way. And depending on what you want to do with your link tree alternative is, well, number one, you could have this as the home page of your site. You could register a new domain. You could have your own custom domain linking to a WordPress site that is just for a link tree alternative for your brand. That's cool. You can run analytics against that. You can have a custom domain. That's something you could do and promote this to the homepage. Or you could just have this as just another page on your site that you put in your social profiles uh, and point people to. So we'll just call this page Linktree. Open up the block list view, there's nothing here. First thing we'll do is start with a group. And I'm gonna start with a group just because we're going to style it and just for visual representation so you can kind of see it coming together and then put our buttons inside of it. So I start with a group as you should uh, with all things blocks, uh, making hero images and stuff like that. And we're gonna style it. So we'll do background color. And again, we're just doing this to show some visual representation. I'll add some uh, padding top and bottom and on the sides. And then I will add a border and give it a three pixel weight. So that'll be the container of our buttons or for our buttons. And then I'll put our button block in. And then a few things you want to adjust here is that the orientation uh, by default, uh, justification and orientation. So we'll go to justification center. So this will be in the center of this group block. And then instead of our buttons going horizontal, we want our buttons to go vertical as we add them to the button block. And then on that default button, we want our width settings to go 75. So as we add some buttons, they'll stack on top of each other and kind of fill out that uh, overall group. Now this is all design subjective. You can make it look uh, however you want. And then the other thing I'm gonna do just for stylization here is make the font the large, right? So now when we start filling in our uh, links, we can start building out the link tree alternative, right? So now we're putting in our link, you know, one, two, three, and four. And when we publish this, view the page, you'll see our uh, link tree block in the center. You'll still see all the stuff around it. We're going to apply the template to remove that, the template that we made. But that's our, you know, link tree alternative. And 
the idea is, hey, we just got these call to action buttons on a single landing page. Um, I don't know why it threw me back here. Let's go back to pages. Edit. And the idea is, you know, when you're looking at it on a mobile phone, after it coming from like a social profile, here are the call to actions I want. I have my social media. I have my, uh, you know, YouTube channels. I have my homepage, this book that I'm selling. That's the idea behind Linktree is you can create all these different links. You can color these differently here with, with WordPress. That's the flexibility you're going to get. You could even add in uh, the social icons. As, a, as an example, if you wanted to center justify uh, those and add those in, if you had a Facebook, add in a Twitter, and you could build out something like that. You know, again, design of subjective. But the key to all of this is applying that Linktree template. So I'll select on the templates, select the Linktree template that we had. You can see there's some other default templates uh, that 2024 gives us. They just don't give us that blank canvas that we built. So we'll select that, hit update. And now when we view our link tree, there it is. That's the link tree, no header, no footer, no other content aside from what's on our page, the content we put in with the buttons uh, and all that stuff. I don't know why the social media icons didn't appear. Did I not save that? Or maybe they don't appear until I put in uh, a URL. That's probably why. So if we click that, click that. And we could also put in a little spacer block that every designer in the world loves. I know I love it because it's so easy. I could add uh, some margin to the hero, but there it is. Just push that down a little bit. And then you could make this however, make this look however you want. Put a, a picture of yourself, a little bio. You know, that's the flexibility that I'm sure you might get out of a link tree. I, I don't personally use this. Uh, with their templates or anything like that, but you could build exactly something like this. In fact, we almost did. And sure, their buttons look a little bit fancier, but you could put in a graphic of yourself, a little, uh, little bio, and build out a similar solution, but this time in WordPress. And then if you start putting in like donation forms, email subscriber forms, a lot of that stuff is in a premium tier to Linktree, and it just doesn't have the flexibility. Uh, number one, you don't really truly own that content. Uh, you know, custom domain, the data that's being you know, processed through there. But you put a gravity form for donations, MailChimp for signups, whatever it is that you're using, a WooCommerce product, you know, you could make it look uh, and feel like a true Linktree alternative with this stuff. What do you think? WordPress 2024 theme, build your own template for Linktree. Hope that helps uh, some of you out there. Let me know if it did. Thumbs up to the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Leave those comments below. Are you a Linktree user? Let me know. Have you ever built an alternative Are you using a plugin or a block uh, theme to do something like this? Let me know what you're using with WordPress. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.